Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Crystal and today we're talking about the WGA and SAG after strike happening right now. I just want to come online really quickly and tell you all about the strike and my opinions on it as a fan. For starters, I stand with the strike and everything the strikers asked for. The landscape for writers and actors has been awful for years now. Fandoms need to stand with strikers and be loud. Years ago when I was more active in media fandoms for things like TV shows, cartoons, books, etc., I witnessed firsthand how fandoms can become deeply intertwined and influence how the creatives around the shows and books can feel. Fandoms, even if we want to detach what happens in a fandom space with what happens in physical face-to-face -face spaces, are intertwined with what happens offline. So it is really important to be loud and informed about the strike happening. For myself, I follow Adam Conover, who you might recognize from Adam Ruins Everything, who is a negotiating committee member and serves on the WGA West Board of Directors. I also follow all the official social media accounts of the unions. I'm also just generally online reading articles and most importantly, listening to writers and actors. As of July 29th, there has been no call to boycott movies and TV shows from the unions. And I think that's where fandoms like us can come in. I know my audience is primarily armies, which is a celebrity fandom, but if you're here, you're also probably interested in fandoms as a whole too. For myself, these past couple of weeks, I've been fighting Billboard, the company in charge of the American music charts, so I have not been present to talk about issues that affect other fandoms, but I'm here now, so let's talk. What should you do as a fan to support the strike? According to this article, what can fans actually do to support the WGA and SAG after strikes? By James Whitbrook, quote, both the WGA and SAG-AFTRA has asked audiences who want to help to do so both digitally and physically. People interested in joining a local picket line or in donating food and water to strike participants can check out both the WGA and SAG-AFTRA picket schedules for local event timings and work with strike captains on site to see how they can best lend support in person. Beyond that, you can donate to fundraisers like the Entertainment Community Fund for both WGA and SAG-AFTRA, and both unions have publicly accessible social media toolkits filled with graphics, sample posts, and hashtags to build support around and across sites like Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, or share messages from each union's own social media platforms with your audiences. For independent content creators, influencers, and members of the media, the Freelance Solidarity Project offers some guidelines and calls to action, including a statement attached to the media created during the strikes to show support and acknowledge the shared labor struggles in this nigh-on unprecedented movement in Hollywood." End quote. In addition to that quote, quote, we live in an age of fandom, from people who just love Marvel movies to fans who have made independent careers out of podcasting or content creation, fan sites, and fanfic. There are people all over the world who now suddenly find the series they love or the movies they're looking forward to impacted by these strikes. Even if you made a career out of it, you're not obligated to follow any of the specifically mentioned above guidelines, unless you intend to eventually join one of the impacted unions. Talk about that new episode of Secret Invasion. Side note, I will not be talking about Secret Invasion because it uses AI-generated art in their title sequence, already taking jobs away from artists and animators who could have been the ones to make that title sequence. End side note. Do a podcast about Ahsoka, cosplay at SDCC of your own personal volition. If you made a career out of being a cosplay influencer that has worked with studios or other companies before, it's likely better to not pursue that promotional work during the strike, whether you're unionized or not, for the reasons laid out above. Side note, as of this video's release, San Diego Comic Con is over. And no, whatever you want, or don't if you feel uncomfortable about it. The point is, you aren't obligated to follow strike guidelines. Neither the WGA nor SAG-AFTRA have called for consumer boycotts in media, end quote. Most importantly note, quote, dips in audience response and engagement could be seen as leveraged by the studios to news against the unions, while the man for the fruits of their labor can show support, end quote. Thank you to James Whitbrook for that article and for the information. If you want to look at more official information about the strikes, please check out the SAG-AFTRA and WGA websites. Fandoms love good stories and supporting the amazing people behind those stories. Let's continue supporting authentic art where creatives can be paid fairly. We are the support behind these shows, movies, and art. We need to support the people who create these things we love. What I've been supporting recently is My Adventures of Superman, Good Omens Season 2, Barbie, and Invincible, including a new special episode. Basically, I literally only follow things popular fandoms because I am fandom trash. I watch all these shows legally and will possibly be making videos about them to show support for TV shows and movies. No promises though, because I am still mainly a BTS army and I have battles to fight there too. Again, I stand with the WGA and SAC after Strikers 
as someone involved in fandoms and who loves fandom. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, please remember to stay thoughtful.